Former Cardinal Theodore McCarrick is facing another round of accusations of sexual abuse. A lawsuit filed earlier this week claims McCarrick sexually abused a boy and aided abuse by several other priests. The accusations stem from McCarrick's time at Christian Brothers High School in New Jersey back in the early 1980s. His attorney declined to comment. The 90-year-old was removed from the clerical state last year by Pope Francis. Joining me now on Skype is Kevin Jones, senior staff writer for Catholic News Agency. Kevin, welcome to the show. Great to have you on. Uh, Kevin, these claims are very disturbing to say the least. I know you've been following this story for CNA. What more can you tell us about these allegations? Thank you, Tracy. Like all stories of sexual abuse, this is a story that is gut-wrenching. We have a claim uh, that expands on the horrors of the Carl McCarrick story, if true. Uh, these allegations claim that uh, Cardinal McCarrick, back as Bishop of Matuken, was uh, procured a young boy who had been abused by his uh, principal at a Catholic boys' school. And this, uh, during this time, uh, this victim was allegedly abused by three other priests at McCarrick's Beach House in Seagirt, New Jersey. Uh, he was about uh, 14 to 16 years old at the time, and this took place in the early 1980s. And Kevin, I know this is, this is not the first time this law firm has filed complaints against the church. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yes. Uh, this Jeff Anderson is uh, known for liking to make a splash. His critics say that he has uh, sensationalized and even embellished claims in order to attract media attention. And uh, sometimes they say he's a self-promoter. You can, If you read through the lawsuit, you can uh, see this. Uh, he has tried to sue the Vatican in the past, and his present uh, lawsuit contains language that depicts uh, McCarrick's rise and his uh, continuation in authority as due to the popes, from uh, Pope John Paul II through Benedict and through Francis. And as you know, last week the Vatican published a handbook for clergy and church lawyers laying out the steps to follow when investigating and reporting alleged cases of clergy sexual abuse of minors. What are the archdiocese named in this suit? What are they saying regarding these new allegations? And is there any mention of support for the survivors? Yes. Well, uh, as in many lawsuits of this kind, the dioceses are not commenting on the particulars of the case involved. This involves both the Diocese of Metuckin, New Jersey, and the Archdiocese of Newark, where McCarrick headed uh, the church for a time. However, they are uh, very, uh, they are making very strong statements in support of victims and encouraging any possible victims to report to authorities as well as to report to the local diocese if they have suffered abuse. Kevin, quickly, I know the faithful are still waiting for a Vatican report on Theodore McCarrick, one that will hopefully shed some light on how he's able to rise in the ranks amid these alleged abuses. Do we know the status of that report? Right now, we do not, I'm sorry to say. We do know that one of the alleged victims uh, says he has been working with the Vatican to help fact check the report and otherwise uh, help make the case uh, this is, of course, a story that has uh, ripped the heart out of uh, many people. Many, many people were uh, shocked by these allegations. And a uh, full accounting and accurate report of what McCarrick did, uh, what other people in the church knew or should have known, uh, will be very key going forward as the Catholic Church responds to the sexual abuse crisis. Well, Kevin, thanks so much for your time today and for your reporting. Kevin Jones, senior staff writer for Catholic News Agency. Thanks again, Kevin. Thank you, Tracy.